Today we're back with my supermarket and we are going to make this the biggest supermarket ever, guys. If you guys didn't watch the last episode, we opened up our own supermarket and today I've got a good idea how we can get seriously rich. So if you haven't already seen, this is my supermarket. Guys, and so far we've made $171 in just one day. Well, technically two days, but today we are going to actually do something that has never been done before. I'm going to give everything away for free. I woke up today and I realized, you know what? I'm a nice person. People work really hard. All these people have really hard life. They do such good jobs on the road. So do you know what? I'm going to give back. I'm going to give everything away for free. So before I open the shop, I'm going to order a bunch of stuff. Let's order some water. There's also some cheese, some coffee, some milk, some tea bags. Okay, that's too much. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not that nice. Okay, give him the coffee. Get it to the shelf. Okay, there we go. That's better. I'm also going to order some eggs and there's $124 and some bread. There we go. $136 purchase. There we go, guys. And do you know what? I'm going to give away all of that for free. Why? I just feel like I'm a nice person and I feel like people deserve bread. I mean, who doesn't love bread, right? Currently right now in the world is very hard to live and these people look bro. Listen, I want you to have some free food. What do you have to say about that? Nope. Okay, well, screw you then. <laughs> he doesn't want any free food. But do you know what, people? I am a nice person. Oh, okay, then he's going to go in the fridge. Okay, there we go. The eggs are going in. The eggs are in my fridge. This is going to be the world's best shop. But there's one problem. If I give away all this stuff for free, then I'm going to run out of money. That's the only concern I have. If I give away all my stuff, then I could actually technically screw myself over and my shop might have to shut down. I mean, that's not too much of a problem because, you know what, kindness goes hand in hand with nice <laughs> okay but there we go right probably must be the same there's all the milk going in okay do you know what wow well, uh wow well, the I, I don't know where to put that milk where do i put the okay wow well, we've got one milk left i don't know what to do with it just bin it okay <laughs> guys i just threw away some milk oh do you know what i've actually got okay do you know what it's gonna have to go on the floor <laughs> The cheese is now on the floor. Screw it. I haven't got enough room for it. Hey, it's free anyway. You can't complain. If it's free food, you can't complain if it's on the floor, right? I mean, if you want cheese, you're going to have to have it off the floor, sorry. I mean, that's just tough luck. It's full? Okay, well, that's good on the floor as well then. How do I throw it? Nope. What do you mean you can't throw it? Why can't I throw it? Nope. Let me throw it. Why, nope. can't, why can't I throw the water? Okay, well, that's going in the bin as well then. I've just wasted so much good food. Right, guys, we are about to change everything to zero. I'm about to be nice. I don't think anyone on YouTube's ever done this before. Maybe they have, I don't know. Look at this. Zero pounds. Zero. I'm literally losing money every single time someone buys this. I'm going to lose money, guys. Am I stupid or am I smart? We're about to find out. My analogy is, if it's all free... Loads of people will come in, and then when they're in my shop, I'm going to quickly change the prices to triple the amount. This is my analogy. I'm going to try and scam people to come into my shop, thinking they're going to pay nothing. But in reality, as soon as they come in the shop, I'm going to change all the prices to super expensive. <laughs> so I'm literally going to trick them to come into my shop. I could get arrested for this, actually. Do you know what? I could either get robbed or arrested. Okay, everything is now free. Literally everything. Look, zero, 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 zero. Zero, zero, zero. That bread is, well, oh, do you know what? Zero, just place it there. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, we're good. Everything is now zero. Open. Okay, this could go really good or really bad. Hey, bro, listen up. My shop is free. Everything inside my shop is free. Do you want some? Huh? Oh, look, the first guy's going in. Yeah, he's about to come get some stuff. In he goes. Oh my God, everything's free. Okay, what's he getting? What's he getting? He's getting some, right, coffee, right, quickly. Do you know what? He can wait, actually. So he's now got coffee. Let me see if this works. Okay, coffee. I'm now going to change it to $100. He's now going to have to pay me $92. Is this going to work? Wait, what? Oh, no, it didn't work. Oh, my God, that backfired massively. I thought it would work. I thought... I could... Oh, he's actually going to get it for free. Oh, no. Oh, no, I have to give him for free. He just robbed me. And he's complaining. He just got... Get back here now, you little... Oi, mate, are you really going to take from my shop and then complain that there's no pasta in there? You just got it for free, you ignorant man. Do you know what? Screw you. <laughs> I just got robbed. Okay, literally, I'm going to have to... Oh, look, she's getting this food for free. Oh, my God. I mean, it, I mean, it was my fault. I did literally put it as free. Okay, we're going to have to change this now urgently. Okay, backbite. Close the shop, close the shop. Quick, let me out. 
<laughs> right, it's closed. Everyone out my shop. Get out of the shop. Bro, I said get out my shop. Okay, right. This is really bad. Okay, let's change this. <laughs> right, I'm going to change. We need to now put the prices up triple to make back the money that I've just lost. I just literally got robbed $100. I could have made $100 then, but my plan didn't work. And I've lost all my coffee. I mean, come on, really? That's ridiculous behavior. I've just lost so much money. Can you believe that? I mean, to be honest, yes, it was my fault. I mean, I did literally put it at zero, but... <sighs> Okay, well, do you know what? We learn from our mistakes. It is what it is. Let's just, just get on with it, okay? Milk, right? Let's change your milk back to... Do you know what? I need to make some serious money now. I need to actually make serious money. My eggs are meant to sell for $3, but they're selling for $10. Sorry. Do you know what? We need another fridge as well, but we haven't got any money. Okay, we need to seriously, seriously, seriously make back some money. Because this guy's going to get all for free. He's just took all my eggs for free. Bro, I hate you. Uh, wait, he, he's trying to give me money, but it's zero. <laughs> How is that even possible? <laughs> give me zero dollars and I'm giving him zero back. Okay, there you go. How do I give, how do I give him zero? Wait, I have to give him money? You can't give zero. Bro, I'm so sorry right now, but I can't give you any change. I literally can't do it. Sorry, bro. You're going to have to pull it all back. <laughs> He's putting all the stuff back. Let me open the checkout again. Let's try again. Okay, bro, listen. This is free. You don't need to give me any money. No, you don't need to get... So you're not listening to me. You don't need to give me any money. And he's complaining. Oh, these people are so ignorant, honestly. Listen, they're, they're, they're taking the mick now. They're take, they're, they are taking the mick. I can't, what do you mean insignificant change? Oh, you want, oh wait, he's paying me. No, he's not. Oh my God. Right, I think these people should pay now. This should cost, yes. And she's paying double the amount. It's time to make my money back. I completely messed up massively. I got robbed for $100 and now I'm trying to make my money back. But the problem is, is my shop is super, super expensive now. So which means nobody's going to buy anything. Okay, she's going in. Listen, please, ma'am, please just buy everything you can see. Just buy everything. Get some milk. Eggs are too expensive. Well, screw you then. To be fair, they are expensive. Maybe I should lower them. I mean, $10 is, is extortionate for eggs. Okay, let's try $8. How does that sound? There we go. Okay, so coffee, coffee, $16. <laughs> Thank you, goodbye. What have you got? Coffee? Sure thing. Okay, you'll pay me 15. He's paying me $15 for coffee. How have I got away with that? Can't find pasta. That's because we don't have any. Bread's too expensive. The bread's only $8. And bro, he's complained about everything. He said the milk's too expensive, the bread's too expensive. And bro, why are you looking? It's right in front of you. Well, just, just get out of my shop. Did you see that guy? He complained about everything, then left. At least this woman isn't complaining. Thank you, ma'am. It's eight pound, please. <laughs> Goodbye. Right, do you know what? Can I sell things? Maybe we can sell things. So look, management, bills. Look, I haven't even paid my bills. I haven't paid my rent either. Oh, I'm gonna lose the shop. Guys, I'm in so much trouble. I've paid no bills. I've paid no rent. Literally, how do I sell things? I can't sell anything. Okay, we are in serious trouble. We've got no lights on. We've got no electricity. We've got no money. We'll get, guys, we are literally going to have to recover from this. We're going to have to raise the prices again because we need to pay the rent. Right, let me see. I really don't want to pay this. But if I don't pay my rent, I'll lose the shop. So I have to pay that. I'm going to have to pay my bills as well. So I'm left with $27. Great. Let's hope this guy buys something worth $27 because I've got nothing left. What's he buying? Oh, tea bags. Okay. How much are they? Sixteen dollars. You know that's not too bad actually. Sixteen. That's my money back a little bit. What's he complaining about? Couldn't find coffee. That's because there's none left. People are stupid. I mean, they're coming in complaining because I don't have any. How, how can they complain when I don't have it? I don't understand. Right, they want it. We're gonna have to buy some more stuff then. So they're complaining because they want pasta, coffee. I haven't got that. Oh, I can't afford that. <laughs> how is coffee so expensive? And also to make it worse, the shop's now closed. End the day. Let's just end the day. That was the worst day ever. Okay, so I've lost $55 today and I had 20 negative experiences. 20 people weren't happy with my shop today. Let's just hope today goes better because you know what? I think we are in some serious trouble today. We've got no space for any cheese because I've replaced it with water. The, sh the shelves are literally empty. I got robbed. I mean, I don't think yesterday could go any worse if I tried, but let's just hope today goes better. Okay, so the shop is now going to be open. we got pasta now, so people can't moan saying they haven't got pasta. There's no pasta. Literally, it's pasta here. Literally pasta here now. The box can stay in the corner out of the way. I don't care. We're going to sell it for $9. Oh, 
was that too expensive? Do you know what? I don't even care if it's too expensive. I don't even care because people were moaning I didn't have it. So now I've got it. They can't complain. Mate, if you come in my shop and you complain, you will be in trouble. I'm warning you now. Yes, it keep walking. Keep walking. Okay, we've got someone in. Welcome to the shop. How can I help you? Oh, another day of expensivity. Okay, do you know what? Maybe they are a bit too expensive. Maybe I should just charge $6. Maybe that's better. We've got nowhere for the cheese to go. We've got no coffee left. We literally only have bread, pasta, oil, milk and water and eggs. I mean, what else does a shop sell? Is he going to moan? Oh, God. Now you're moaning the water's too expensive. I mean, it is $5. I mean, that is a bit crazy, to be honest. Maybe let's just put it as $4. Oh, bro, stop moaning, seriously. If you're going to moan, just get out of the shop. Come on. You can't moan and buy something. Seriously. I don't care if, if it's too expensive. <sighs> people with these, I tell you what, people with these big bills are gonna be the end of my shop. Thank you, goodbye. Do you know what? I think I've actually seriously messed this up because I can't recover. We're gonna need to take a loan. Can I take another loan? Please, 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 please give me a loan. I can't. They won't give me another loan. I mean, I don't blame them. I, I, I mean, I don't blame them because I literally can't even afford to sell anything in this moment in time. Six dollars, please. There we go. Thank you. Oh, look, people are not complaining anymore. People are actually happy. Oh, moan about the past. I mean, come on. They just moan all the time. All they do is moan, 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 moan. Honestly. The water, I've just lowered the water. I'm not lowering that again. If you can't afford my water, that's your problem. I'm sorry, I'm not lowering it anymore. That, that price is good. Okay, a $28 order. That's good. That's really good. That's what we need. Oh, she's bought the pasta. You brought my pasta, you idiot. Okay, people are actually buying this. Wait, can I buy another shelf? Okay, a shelf is $200. Hmm. Okay, we, we need more money. We need we need another fridge. We need another fridge. We need to make two... Bro, stop moaning. Honestly, look at these people moaning all the time. They moan and then they still buy. I mean, that is the most hypocritical thing they could physically do in their life. Moan and then buy. I mean, at least, at least that guy moans and walks out. I mean, that's better than nothing, right? Wait, we can put the cheese down. Can we now put the cheese down? Yes, there we go. Okay, cheese. Let's put the cheese as $6. I mean, that's a good profit, right? $6 is not too bad. That's, that's pretty good, actually. Hello there. God, he's really tall. <laughs> he must be eating my bread. <laughs> okay, listen, guys. We're on day two right now. We currently have $109. I've been robbed already today, which is not good. Literally got robbed in daylight because I accidentally thought my scam would work and it didn't work. The moral of the story is don't try and scam people. This person is... Well, are you going to moan, probably? Yeah, of course they are. They're going to moan that the milk's too expensive. It's not. Okay, that's the lowest you're having it. I'm not lowering it no more. I mean, come on. Do I have to turn my electric off? I save money, right? Will it save money if I turn it off? Okay, please don't moan. Just buy something. Come on. Oh, <laughs> this is absolutely absurd. I mean, the market value is is going for is four dollars. I mean, can they not? Oh my god. Can they not? How can they keep moan? It's too expensive. It's really not. It's literally perfect. Oh, look, she's actually buying the water. The milk's too expensive. <sighs> People are doing my head in. I've loaded this like seven times. Right, do you know what? Just just have the water and just leave my shop, okay? Just leave my shop. Don't come back. Don't want to see you again. Goodbye. We were doing so well in the first episode. We were making loads and loads of money, but I feel like I messed this up and I shouldn't have given stuff away for free because if I didn't do that, I probably would have about $1,000 right now. Bottle water is too expensive for me. Bro, how is $3 too expensive for water when a literally average price is $2.60? I'm only, I'm only making $2 on the water. I mean, it's not that bad. Wait a second. So this guy right here is complaining that the water is too expensive because he's overpaying by $1. Okay, he's literally overpaying by $1. But yet he will go to the pasta and he will overpay by $3. So he'll pay $3 more for the pasta, but he won't pay $1 more for the water. The analogy is unreal. How does that even work? This guy is the thickest person I've ever met in my life. You are dumb, bro. You literally are stupid. Okay, do you know what? Just have the pasta. Just have the pasta. You are literally the dumbest person I've ever met in my entire life. And you're moaning about the eggs. Yeah, well, of course you are. Otter water. <laughs> He's done the same thing. The guy's just done the same thing. This guy moaned about the water, but then brought two packs of <laughs> Have you ever known something so stupid? Literally overpaid twice for pasta, but won't overpay for one bottle of water. 
I've never known anything so stupid in my life. In my time, I tell you, that is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. The shop's about to close. We are making some good profit. Hopefully these two ladies come in and buy something. Of course not. They're saying it's too expensive. It's literally not, but okay. Oh, to be fair, the bread is actually really expensive. I didn't realize that. <gasps> I did not realize the bread was so expensive. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, I was overcharging on bread by $7. I mean, that is extortionate. Thank you. You want some milk? No problem. One dollar. There we go. Right, guys, I think we're going to end the day there. And that day, we made $95. That's pretty good, you know. That's really good. In fact, I'm happy with that. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you comment down below. If you guys want part three to this, let me know. On the next episode, I'm going to try and make this shop into the biggest shop ever. I'm going to turn that profit into a $1,000 day. Make sure you hit subscribe. Let me know down below if you want it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.